would you say are the sort of the top line results of the study you presented today? I think this study demonstrates for the first time that actually in the context of treatment experience patients that need um, rescue regimen, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. actually the use of alvitegravir given once daily was non inferior to uh, the use of alvitegravir, which you know has to be given twice daily. And um, in terms of being, um, you know, toxicities or, or tolerability was... Well, the tolerability of integrase inhibitor in general is very good. Okay. And actually this was confirmed in this trial since very few patients actually discontinue study drug because of adverse events and this was actually very similar in both treatment arms. There were actually uh, very small differences in terms of uh, adverse events, a little bit of more of diarrhea, for example, in the advitegravir arm, okay. although no patient actually discontinued the drug because of that. And uh, there were also a little bit more elevation in AST, ALT levels with raltegravir as compared to l -vitegravir. That was kind of a surprise, okay. but that's good to know. Right. Uh, otherwise, uh, actually, the, the safety profile of the drugs were very similar. And what, what would you be expect, expect to be the patient population who might find this find this um, you know, appealing or might decide to take l instead of raltegravir? What would decide someone? Well, we, we have learned with Raltegravir that it's a drug that has to be given twice a day right. and that it's very critical to be fully adherent to the regimen and not to uh, switch to a, a once daily regimen yeah. with Raltegravir actually because you carry the risk of failure. So for those patients, for example, who cannot take a, a BID regimen, that's important to have an alternative that could be given once a day. It's only one pill once a day in addition to the other drugs because we are here talking about I mean, treatment um, resistant patients, so these patients have to uh, receive a multiple uh, drug regimen. Okay, and I understand that, that the company is, is moving ahead with um, some co formulations with, the, with, with L vitegravir? That, that's right. I mean, this drug is also being evaluated right now in treatment naive patients as a component of the quad peel. Uh, the quad peel is a single peel that actually um, co formulates tenofovir, FTC, and uh, Cabisista plus l -vitegravir, so the Cabisista being the booster. New booster, yes. And uh, so that's uh, potentially an attractive combination to be given for treatment naive patients as a single peel once a day. Okay, and do you have any, any sense of the timeline for this? What, where are they in studies now? And right, I mean, there is a, a plan to submit a dossier to FDA uh, okay. earlier, I mean, sometimes early next year. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, well, thank you very much for your You're time. You're very welcome. Good to talk to you. Bye-bye. Thank you.